Uh, greetings and good afternoon. This is Nigeria with UrbanBuzzMag.com. I'm with Leila James, and Leila James has a new project she's working on. And tell us a little bit about it. Um, the now um, the new album is called Fall for You, and mm -hmm. we're gonna release it just this summer, July 8th. And um, I put several songs on there. I'm very excited about it. I was involved with the creative process writing so I'm happy because it's a lot of my own emotions that's gonna come through and um, I think you know people like it. Right, yeah. Um I mean you've been you're not new to the business. You haven't this is not just your first project. Um and I like what you're saying that you putting more of you into the project. But talk about some of the older projects and what you have learned from that experience that has gotten you to where you're at now? I mean, um, my projects in the past were definitely me as well. Um, but um, with some of the projects, obviously I've done tribute albums and covers. This album, I didn't do any of that. Just all original tunes. And I just wanted to focus mostly on um, my di different vocal styles and just even um, exploring more vulnerable sides to you know, my writing. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And we were talking earlier about albums to MP3s. Mm -hmm. How are you um, feeling about the new uh, format of music? I mean, I think that, you know, the music industry is ever evolving, and so you just kind of have to evolve along with it. I mean, at one point there was eight tracks, mm -hmm. so. That's you know, before my time, that's before my time. No, I'm yeah. going <laughs> Um, but so I mean things are just gonna constantly keep, um, keep probably changing and that's just the sign of time. Right, right. And now with Twitter and Facebook, how how are you being received by the fans from yesterday to today and how are you generating new fans? I mean, I think that the fans that I had from the first album are definitely still around and thirsty for me to release more music. And then I think that with social network and social media, I'm also gaining new fans and I'll probably continue to gain new fans. Um, and that's the idea, even the um, fact that, you know, I'm um, a part of the new season of R&B Divas LA, you know, I'm hoping that that can expand my audience as well because I do realize that, you know, it's it's been a few years since my first project, so, some of those people are a little older, mm -hmm. so you gotta just keep growing and growing. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, once you you get a fan base, people, and I think people don't really understand, if we love you, we love you. And when we hear you dropping an album, we're just anticipating the drop, and we're gonna buy it and support it anyway, because we love your music. Right. Um, you, you brought up Divas of LA, how you feel about that? And how did that come about? Yeah, no, again, I just think that um, television is a great platform for exposure and I'm using it to bring more people into my musical world mm -hmm. and expand on my audience, um, simply that. Um, and I'm looking forward to see that happen. Right. And what's the message in your music? What's, what's in your soul? What is, what is it that you're trying to convey to the people who listen to your music? You know, I, I mean, from day one, I pay pretty much just came on the scene really just wanting to make what to me I consider is real music, good soul singing music, you know, where you can really appreciate um, the musicianship, the production, as well as um, the vocals. Mm -hmm. um, who are some of your without it being watered down? Yeah, you talk about live musicians and you it's know. It's not even just live musicians. It's a combination of that, but just um, you know, getting just real music. Right. I mean, you were with some great people, James Brown. I mean, all the way up to now, recently with um, Anthony Hamilton. Um, to even hip hop. I mean, you've crossed every genre of music, every genre of music. Um, how do you reinvent yourself so much to just really just cross all the boards? Um, I don't 
know that I try to do that. I just love music, and right. I love all kinds of music. If it's good, it's good. It does. It could be a country song, you okay. know what I mean? Or I, I like opera. Mm -hmm. you know, I mm -hmm. think when you're into music and good music, then you're gonna like like it when it's good. Right. And I just consider myself a singer with soul. Mm -hmm. So that makes me a soulful singer. So regardless of what I sing, it's going to sound soulful. And that's all right. I like that right there. Um, so tell us, what can we expect now? You're just going to expect to hear some more music from me, soulful, mm -hmm. and some good singing. Okay. And you either going to like it or you going to like it. I know it. that's right. That's it. <laughs> I like it. I, I know. y'all like it. And we, we will like it. I mean, you know, you, you have love ballads, you have grooves, you have jams. I mean, you know, people may not know particularly a, sp a particular song, or maybe they will, but they know your name. And that's powerful all in itself. And so we wish you the best of luck Thank with the you. new album, Divas of LA. I'm so thankful and honored that you had the time to stop with us and chit chat with UrbanBuzzMag.com. And, and we'll definitely talk with you again. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right.